And I seen this guy knocking on the door. Tony here knew something wasn't right when a guy showed up at his house Tuesday evening claiming he was from the water department. He says, take me down the basement. He says, if there's a leak, I got to take care of it. He said, because we're going to work on the street tomorrow. I says, I haven't got no leak. You ain't going to the basement. He said, they're going to shut your water off. I says, let them shut it off. Go. Then the fake worker headed to another street in Mayfield Heights and knocked at this house. The woman who lives here was too upset to talk on camera, but she told me she bought the story and let him in. She believes an accomplice who left footprints inside would have robbed her had it not been for Dolly here, who was in the upstairs of the house while the fake worker was talking to her in the basement. It's usually during the, more, the warmer weather when um, the folks are more out, outside more. And I think the, the people kind of canvass the area and they see if they're elderly out in their yard mm -hmm. that they can maybe target them. It's sad that they're hitting the elderly people, totally sad, that they have to stoop to that level to, you know, mm -hmm. steal money from people that have worked really hard all their life. Police say it's hard to catch distraction burglars, so they want to make sure you're on to them ahead of time, like Tony was. You knew it was a scam. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought right away. They come around in the suburbs, they come around everywhere. They're looking for a quick strike and just to be alert for them. Don't, don't let strangers in your home.